Hey, how you doing? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to another time here. Welcome to another time in the opera room. Welcome in an, to another time to pray. Uh, thanks for coming. Uh, we've been doing a study to the book of Proverbs as we lead ourselves in a place of prayer. And we're presently looking at, uh, yesterday we'll look at verse 10. Today we're going to look at verse 11. And the whole of Proverbs chapter 5 just talks about the uh, the peril, the danger, the, the pitfall of uh, giving ye, ye eat to seduction, you know. And verse 11 says that when you do, you know, it says, and you mourn, and you mourn at last, you will cry at last. You know, when you, you give it to seduction, it's a temporal, instant pleasure. You know, it's like uh, you feel safe, you feel calm, you know. It's just like the spirit of ease, right? People just, mm, easy life. You know, I love a quote we, I shared this morning, and it talks about that the time to build your network is before you need it. <laughs> you know, people just, oh, if it is okay, live it okay life. <laughs> till, till life hits you. You know, the time of peace is a time to prepare for war. The time when things are okay with you is a time to prepare for the time when you will have the visitation of the evil day. It's not if the evil day will come, it's when it will come. It will come. Life will demand of you. When life has not demanded for you, of you, is the time to prepare for the day when life will demand of you. You need to plan for your tomorrow. Don't wait for tomorrow to be called before you start preparing, right? The time you need a three is not when you plant it. You plant a three ever before you need it. You foresee your future. You foresee your tomorrow and begin to ask yourself, what will I need in the tomorrows of my life? And I, you begin to prepare today. You don't prepare tomorrow. You prepare today for the tomorrow of your life, right? If you, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you do the difficult things today to prepare for your tomorrow, your tomorrow will be easy. If you get a, if you feel comfortable with the today, just living and journey tomorrow today, and not thinking about tomorrow, your tomorrow will be hard. The time to plant the tree is not when you need it; it is before you need it. You need to prepare and plant your tree so that you get the shade that it will give you when you need it. You need to prepare long before you need it. Right, but when you give it to seduction, easy life, oh, it's okay with me, have me my comfort zone. Your tomorrow will be hard. The Bible says in verse 11 of Proverbs chapter 5, it says, You mourn at last, you mourn at life. You seem to be enjoying life today, but you mourn at life. At, at life, you know, there are different, different several people who come from good life. I love, you know, someone a lady was sharing recently about how even though our father was a driver of Babangida, right? One of our late, one of our presidents, the old presidents, you know, today she can sit on at the same table with the daughter of, of, of the same person that, that our father was a driver of. I love the way our Lord says it. One of our old uh, leaders, he said, you know, his desire, his plan is not for, uh, it's not, it's not for the children of his driver, you know, to drive his own children. No, 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 no. That might have been the portion of your father. That might have been your background, but it doesn't have to be your prison. You can do better than your parents. You can do better than your lineage, right? It's that you pay the price today so that your own tomorrow can be better. You are not a prisoner of your tomorrow, of your, of your history. You are not a prisoner of your background. I love it. Someone said, you, you, you might be, you might, you might, you might come from a poor background, but once you pass 30, you are the background. You are the background. You are no more have any excuse. You might come from a poor place, but you don't have to die poor. Let's pray. So, so looking at Proverbs chapter 5, I was just looking at verse 11 in the morning, oh, still morning. It says, and you mourn. The Bible says that when we give it to seduction, that the end of it is that 
will be our life, the life will be will be difficult. We will mourn. It says you and you mourn at last. You know, Les Brown says that if if you if you do the easy things, your tomorrow will be hard. If you do the hard things today, your tomorrow will be easy. You know, there's a price to pay for the life that we want. When we don't pay that price, we will not get the life that we want. Right? For every harvest, there must be a sowing. If you don't harvest, if you don't sow, you cannot harvest. For every effect that we want, there is a cause. There's something we have to do for what we want. But when we are under that seduction of ease, we just want the easy life. Oh, I just want easy. Oh, I don't want any trouble in life. Oh, I don't want any trouble in life. Such people don't end well. They are going to mourn tomorrow. There are a lot of beautiful ladies that were only saying no to men. Today they are old, mm. they are not married. Because in the flower of their youth, they wasted it. They felt they were too big for everybody. Now age has caught up with them. All the men that yeah. will have proposed to them have already gone to marry other people. Now they are praying God. They are in desperation. Mm. Because they didn't use their time well. They mm. took everything or else for granted. There are those who just, they because they come from rich homes, are just too comfortable with the richness of their parents. And they did not build their own kingdom. They did not build their own wealth. Mm. And life is not smiling to them today. There are those who started poor, but they paid the price. Today, their poverty, their Background is nothing compared to what God has blessed them with, because they mm -hmm. they put their they put their hand on the plow, and they didn't on the plow and they did not look back. They did what it took to become and get all that they wanted. You know, so God, God is here telling us that, you know, whatever we sow is what we reap. If you want a good life, you have to pay the price for it. If you don't pay the price for a good life, you're going to get a bad life. Mm. Now, a lot of people don't do the things they need to do. Then they now come in desperation and are looking for a quick fix. What it took them 20 years to do, they want to do, they want to undo in one second or in one day. Mm. So they are looking for a prophet. They are looking for a magician that will just change, that will just change their fortune in one day for the thing they have already built in 20 years. Life does not work that way. Well. If you wasted 20 years of your life, there's a price to pay. It's not going to come off easy. It might take another five years to turn you, to turn it around. Maybe not the same 20 years, but it's not going to be one year. <laughs> you know, it might take, it will take time. That time is based on what you do and what God allows. But it take time. It's not going to be a sudden change, right? So the Bible is saying that let's not be seduced by the environment, let us be the let us let us bring our sense to bear in our life. You know, let, let us bring our sense to bear in our life. Ask ourselves the right questions. Let's not be deceived. How do, what, how do I want my tomorrow? What do I want to do in my tomorrow? And the, the answer for all of us is not the same. Oh. For some people, is I just want to go and retire in my village. <laughs> so you do what is required to go and retire your village well. And that person, I want to travel the whole world. You do what it takes to travel the whole world. You know, you have to answer it for yourself because we don't all want the same thing. What makes for everyone to be happy is different. That's why you cannot even copy another person. You know, so you have to ask yourself, what makes me happy? What do I want my tomorrow is? Then begin to do what it takes. Begin to sow the seeds today so you can reap it. But if you don't sow the seeds, there will be no harvest. Harvest comes from the seed you sow, not the seed you did not sow. Right? And God says, seed time and harvest time will not see. So that's the way mm -hmm. God has set this universe. Is and he says, I am not mocked. I am mm -hmm. not I'm not going to be moved by your tears or by your mm -hmm. jumping up and down. Whatsoever a person sows, that's what he will reap. Oh. May our own yeah. end not end in mourning, oh. may it end in joy and rejoicing and praise mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Go ahead, man. Yeah. It is. A nice thing to understand that whatever you do, you shall read. And um, building ourselves for tomorrow, that's from today. So 
a worker who will want success to start planning the retirement right from the day he enter the job. So the same goes with our system life. Our aim for any believer is not just to believe for believing sick. It must be a totality and a way of life. So that as we grow in it, every grace will abound for us in Jesus' name. So everybody has a prayer point, a desire, but we need to walk the talk for Christ's sake. So Amen. that at the end of the talk, what we desire is what we get. Amen. Amen. Uh, Amen. 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 And we're going to help us all, you know. And we all come from different points in life. We have different wisdom. But the important thing is that we keep learning and getting better, you know. We're limited by the information we have, you know. But the more we need to seek to know and seek to do something about what we know and get better, you know. Um, we don't have to be limited by what our fathers did. We can do better, you know. And yeah. Think, May God help us all. May God give us light. I mean, that light make a difference for us, you know. Um, may, may God give us light. May we may we not be a prisoner of where we come from. May we may we be the, the generate the generational uh changes of, of our death of our lineage. May we be may we bring about the generational blessing and bring put an end to the generational cause, you know. Amen. From, from in Jesus' name, may, we, may, may we have been a part of our lineage, make a difference for our lineage for good. Amen. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. may God be glorified in our lineage. May God be glorified in our families. May God be glorified in our compound, in our village, in our town, you know, wherever we find ourselves. In Jesus' name. Amen.